so you guys sent me this article with James Gunn. It says, nothing is canon. James Gunn explains the new DC Universe continuity uh, from DCEU. This is by Screen Rant. Jump into this article, man. You know, it's a whole mess. It's a whole, whole mess. With confusion still surrounding the new DC Universe, for some, James Gunn has offered a few new updates on what is and isn't DCEU canon. For the last 10 years, the DCEU has had an inconsistent ride, which is why 2023 will mark the end of the franchise after Aquaman Lost Kingdom with the launch of DC Studios. The two CEOs are looking to start over with the DC Universe, which begins with Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. While there are several DC Universe's movies and TV shows on their way, there has been some confusion as to what will actually carry over from the DCEU and what projects will remain canon to the new continua continuity. I don't know. Uh, taking this to the thread, Gunn responded to flip the USB twice when they expressed that they were still confused about the DC Universe, despite the filmmaking having stated that the DC Universe begins with Superman Legacy. <clears throat> so the guy said, you said DC Studio movies and canon start with Superman Legacy. I and many others are still confused. Are the returning actors playing new version of the same characters? Is this a J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah situation? Nothing is canon until Creature Commandos next year. This is James Gunn. Nothing is canon until Creature Commandos next year. A, so, a sort of... I ain't never seen that word before. A pertief to the DCU and then a deeper dive into the universe with Superman Legacy after that. It's a very human drop to want to understand everything all the time, but I think it's okay to be confused on what's happening in the DCU since no one has seen any DCU yet. None expressed that. Nothing is canon. Yeah, yeah, we just did that. <clears throat> At the same time, Gunn felt it's okay to be confused on what's happening in the DC Universe. All right, James Gunn says, and yes, some actors will be playing the characters they played in other stories, and some plot points might be consistent with plot points from dozens of films, shows, and projects that we see in the past. But nothing is canon until Creature Commandos and Legacy. In a follow-up response, Gunn also added that some actors will be playing characters. Why does he keep doing that? Right there. So, Jake, Jacotron57, I love the name. <clears throat> I'm wondering, how does the Blue Beetle movie factor in at this point in time? In the past, you, said, you had said it was included in the new DCU, but some statements are conflicting. Will it have any relation to the future projects, i.e. Booster Gold Show, dot, 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 wink? Uh, Zolo Maradona, Duena, I, I know I butchered that name, Blue Beetle actor, will continue playing Blue Beetle in the DCU as, as Viola Davis will, Amanda Waller, and John Cena will peacemaker. When asked by Jacotron57, who wanted to know, party will be related. So that's, that's the end of the article. Despite Gunn's latest DC Universe clarification, it still doesn't fully explain what it all means for the canonicities of 2023 DC movies and in the case of The Flash and Aquaman and Lost Kingdom, those films are fully DCEU based as Ezra Miller's movie came in financial disappointment while Jason Moore's win character in the universe suggesting that his Aquaman franchise will be done after December. Unless Momoa goes on to play Aquaman in the new DC universe, this is where the, they may factor in the multiverse in some degree. Alright, and that's the article. This is my whole thing with this situation, man. This is why people were confused with reboots and all this other stuff. So, some of Zack Snyder's characters are still going to be in the James Gunn universe. Amanda Waller, a.k.a. Viola Davis, was in Zack Snyder's universe. If, we're, if, if you're doing a full reboot, why are some of the characters still coming back? Yeah, hey, don't get me wrong, man. I love Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. She, she's, she fits the role perfectly. She fits the role perfectly. And who was the other uh the other people they was talking about who was coming back? Um John Cena. Okay, he wasn't in he wasn't in Zack Snyder's universe. But Amanda Waller was Viola Davis. If you're gonna do a full reboot, do a full reboot. I that's one thing I don't understand. And then also the thing came up with Blue Beetle that I've been seeing on the internet as well. 
that James Gunn said that Blue Beetle will be the first official character of his DCU. I can guarantee you this: if Blue Beetle was successful, he would have took credit for that. He, that, I bet you, I bet you, the start of his franchise probably would have started with uh, Blue Beetle. It would have been DCU, Blue Beetle, that's the start of it. Because at first, I'm pretty sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong, he said that Superman Legacy would be the start of his DC Universe. So now it's Creature Commandos first, and now it's Superman Legacy. See, things are just being said all around the place, and this is why everybody's confused and, and just, ugh, with DC. And like I said, man, I'm up in the air. I don't really care for DC right now. I don't really care for Marvel. I'm just at the point to where I just don't care. Like I, like I want, I just want to watch good comic book movies. It shouldn't be this complicated. And I, I've said this like ten million times, man. And and a lot of y'all agree with me. You know, a lot of us fans would be very cool with a new reboot if Zach just finished his vision. Like we would be, uh, the audience would be much more open minded to James Gunn's universe. If Zack Snyder got to finish his vision. But the way they've just done things in the past, it's just like, it just made things even worse for James Gunn. I kind of feel sorry for the guy, but he also brings a lot of it on himself with how he tweets out all the time, says just focusing on projects, um, saying all these different things, which got fans all confused. Because there's a, there's a thread of things that he said to people, and people are pointing it out, and they're just like, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. At first, it was Superman Legacy. That was the start of his DCU. Now it's Creature Commandos. Um, and then, and then you know, he came out and said, Flash is the best superhero movie he's seen or something. And how did the Flash turn out? It was, like I said in my review on the Flash, I gave it a 9 out of 10. I, I ain't going to sit here a lot. I gave it a 9 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But as time went on, and the news came out of what the Flash should have been, the movie we got is utter trash. Utter trash compared to what we could have got and what it should have been. I'm going to leave it there, man. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think this is a whole mess? How do y'all feel about James Gunn still? Uh, just let me know how y'all feel, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. 100,000 subscribers. It's grind time. Let's get it. <laughs>